And as kids head back to school, many of them sadly will not have the supplies they need for learning. That's why this year Local 10 introduced a new initiative called Tools for Schools. We work with three South Florida schools to out the classrooms with all the items both teachers and students need for the entire year. In tonight's report, Community Relations Director Maite Padron takes us to the Conquer Public. We're at Point Siena Elementary School in Key West, home of the Pelicans. Just a few days before all the young birds flocked back to school, we drove in with precious cargo for Miss Alam's third grade classroom. Public's volunteers were on hand to decorate the classroom in this year's theme, the sky's the limit. And no limit on school supplies. All 16 of Miss Alam's students are receiving everything on her wish list. This all part of a first year Local 10 initiative called Tools for Schools. What happens down the line when supplies run low? In partnership with Publix, it's designed to equip teachers and students in Title I schools for a successful year. Miss Ullum's students are going to be walking into a beautifully decorated classroom. They will all receive school supplies to last them the entire year plus brand new book bags in which to put those school supplies along with brand new reading books. And not only that, every other student in this school will be receiving reading books as well. It is a lot of low income families that aren't able to provide everything their children really need throughout the whole year to succeed. So they're gonna be super excited. And that they were on the very first day of class, with these surprises sure to help them soar into and throughout the school year. For tonight's Tools for Schools, I'm Maite Padron, Local 10 News. And in tomorrow night's Tools for Schools, we transform a Fort Lauderdale classroom into an environment brewing with potential. You don't want to miss it. And for everything you need to know about to get your kids ready back to school, check out our special section on local10.com.